Hi, I'm Kara Winigatimu. Welcome to another episode of Coffee in the Cloud. We're here to talk about productivity with Azure and Office 365 solutions. And it is my pleasure to have back one of my favorite guests, Audrey Magno Gordon. Uh, she is now with the Power Apps team. Yes. Welcome to the Thank Microsoft you. Mothership. Thank you. Uh, and she is a senior program manager in that team. And she's going to talk with us today about the types of productivity you can create with this amazing new service. I'm so happy you're here. Thank yes, you for I'm happy coming. to be here. It's always fun to talk with you and speak <laughs> with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So, um, for some of our viewers, I know they may not be familiar with what Power Apps is. Could you share with us what it's about? Oh, sure. Um, Power Apps is a great tool, and primarily the goal of Power Apps is to provide a software as a service feature that enables businesses to create custom business applications. Um, across platforms. What I mean by that is with one app, you can build a, a, a solution for your phone, whether it be an iPhone, an Android phone, or a Windows phone, and it still runs in the web and on your tablet devices. So it's kind of like a one-time build for all these different platforms. And you can connect to different kinds of data, you can build these apps in these forms without any code. So as you can see right here, this is the key here. This enables the business without any development experience or maybe not even the development budget to go ahead and build mobile applications that they can use when they need them. And they can publish these mobile applications instantly to their organization without having to go through a store waiting process. That's amazing. I it know is. How, I, I know how frustrating it can be when you have this idea of a business process that you need to be able to manage, yeah. um, but you don't necessarily have the tools or the skills, or as you mentioned, the budget yes. to be able to build some sort of a custom application. So yes. I love that we're making uh, these sorts of solutions available to, to just regular users mm -hmm. out there. To me, it's the democratization of productivity exactly. tools. Exactly. Uh, and it's great. And so part of also what we like to talk about is how the pieces of Office 365 come together to create these. And yes. I know you have a fabulous show and tell piece, a demo yes. for us. Yes. Can we can we see what you've built? Oh, I would love to show you. That's great. So um, just to let you know, I do have my planning team site. And in my planning team site, I am able to consolidate many different tools. As you can see here, I have my feed where we have conversations. But I also like to introduce project management elements. And Planner is one of my favorite project management light tools because it enables you to kind of uh, manage all the different tasks that need to be done, you know, maybe pulling them from a backlog and then being able to move them from in progress to completed, adding links or other buckets that you need. Maybe you want a bucket for things that are bottlenecked. But it makes it easy for everyone that is working together in my team instance to be able to see what's happening where. You know, if there's no confusion, hey, where's that in the, in the process? They know where it is. In addition to this, and, and using the uh, document integration in Teams instance as well, I also enjoy using List on SharePoint. So you'll notice that I've built a list in SharePoint today that is called a video planning list. And this is because we are actually planning over time hundreds of videos that we'll be su uh, supplying to our audiences in the community. And this requires a lot of coordination. Just uh, And so this is real work that you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, oh no, about. this is real work. The data that you see on the screen may be faked yeah. just for the sake of the screen, but this is a real responsibility we have. Uh -huh. And it's very challenging to manage this type of thing because there's multiple speakers. Uh, you have to record studio time. You have to make sure you have just the right amount of content. And you've got to get it released so the community can benefit from it. And so we take advantage of SharePoint lists, like in this case, to log all the videos that are planned, who's going to be speaking, what the deadlines may be for them, um, if there's any prep work, what's the duration, what's the level, and we store all this in lists. But here's where Power App kind of takes this one next step forward. What if we could convert this list into a mobile application that I can show people what they need to do so they can open this app and they'll see what's assigned to them and in addition to being able to see what's assigned to them, I can define screens that are just for me as the manager, ah. where I can set deadlines that they won't be able to change in the app. So are you saying that you can create that right from the data that's in the SharePoint list? Exactly. Oh, so you don't we have to do We call it app special. from data. Ah, okay, great. Will you show that to us? 
Sh- sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I glad to show you that. <laughs> so um, I want to. I'm going to show you an example of what I've done. But I'll give you a sneak peek. Later on, we'll be teaching you how to use this. Directly in your SharePoint Modern Experience on the ribbon is the access to this app from Data Experience. So let me show you an app from Data that I made. So I'm going to go into my planner because I happen to have uh, a link stored to the app I made just last night. So hold on. I'm just going to click that. And so you mentioned that you made this last night. Are you saying that this isn't a two or three week effort? Oh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> one of the biggest difference between Power Apps and common mobile applications is the delivery time, uh-huh. right? I can design, build an app in literally three minutes, which I'll show you in one next video. Let's remember to do that, okay. right? We can build an app in three minutes. This one took an hour and a half because I have some extra screens. And remember I told you I wanted to isolate a certain screen so that not everybody would see it. So that took a little bit extra formulas, but it's no harder than a PowerPoint presentation mm-hmm. or an Excel workbook would be. That sounds exciting. What is this showing us here? So right now, you're looking at the mobile version of this app. As you can see, it runs in the browser. We're in Edge right now. But it will also run on your iPhone, your Android phone, and your Windows phone. What I add in the front here, and this is me adding, this is one of the things I did extra, is a splash screen that says, here's how many Power App videos are planned. And what it's doing, by the way, that's a formula that's counting, looking at the list and seeing how many videos are assigned to Power Apps, how many videos are assigned to CDS, and how many are assigned to flow. So we can kind of see what's the planning and we can see the total minutes that we plan to record. Okay, now let's get started. We're just going to click this little link that takes us to the gallery. And the gallery is a place where you can see this in like a rotating view. So I do have a touch screen, but on your phone as it's, and it's with a touch screen, you would just use your finger to kind of rotate through the items. And when you get to the item you want to look at more closely, you select it. It's very similar like on your contact list on your phone. You first see a list of names, but you don't get all the data until you actually tap on a name. That makes sense. So now I've opened this one up and you can see all the data related to that. And if I want to make a change, I just hit this little pencil icon, which by the way was done for me. I didn't have to add any of these icons. It was all done for me. And I can configure this to be assigned to the right person. I can change the duration, the level, and so forth. Any changes I make, I submit via this checkbox and they go right back to SharePoint directly. In addition to editing what's there, I can also uh, add. So if I hit the plus sign here, it will enable me to have a brand new form and I'll be able to add new items. So I'm always amazed at how this really helps because it makes it easy for people to find what they need, only edit what they need to edit, and it gives me a little bit of control over those deadlines and making sure these things happen. And the other thing that I see you talking about there is also the mobile experience, yes. right? So many people now run their lives from their mobile devices, and I think this has been a great thing that we've pivoted to as we continue to innovate on our cloud services. So yeah. do you see people doing a lot of mobile work with these sorts of apps? Yes, I think this is an enabling tool because people who normally would have hesitated to start that budgeting discussion about a new app, even though they want it really bad, now they can just sit down at their desk, build the app, share it with their team, get consensus between the team, and off they go mm-hmm. using that app. And that's such a spirit of show and tell, which is of course a part of our show here, yeah. but being able to show people something visually, what you're enabling for a particular workflow, it helps tremendously. Oh, they it can does. actually give you direct feedback, and it's not that difficult, it seems, to make changes to this. Yes, and, and let me show you more, because okay, there's great. more. I'm going to take you back to the team site, and I'm going to show you that we have connected Power BI to that SharePoint list. Oh. Notice the Power BI View tab right here in my team instance, right? And now I can clearly see these are all the people that are assigned videos, so I can tell the allocation of the speakers. I can also tell the allocation for the products. I can see clearly I need more on this topic. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of Power Apps, but I don't have too much on the admin side. Mm. Um, and so. And I can see that I'm not even a quarter of the way done. We've quite a bit more work to do. This visualization gives me a little bit more help in making decisions than, say, a glance at a SharePoint list. 
This is wonderful. So if I'm to understand this, this is also live data from the SharePoint list. So as things yes. change, yes. then it will change here, right? Yes, yes. Excellent. Now understand, depending on your license, you may have a refresh period in Power BI. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, yes, this is connected to SharePoint. And as soon as it refreshes, it will show you the data that is in SharePoint. And it's all visualized there in this hub for teamwork in yes. Microsoft Teams. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, and we can change it dynamically as, as we wish. And I don't know if you knew this, but in Power BI, apps, if I click on one of the bars, it actually filters the other things to see. You know, so it's very dynamic in nature. It's very educational. You kind of discover data when you're playing with around with Power BI. The live filtering is fantastic. I, I use it. that all the time. Yes. It's very helpful, and especially it helps to drive conversations, mm -hmm. right? And I don't know if you find this, but when we're do using these solutions and we have things like Power BI, yeah. it changes the nature of the conversation you have on the team because then it's truly data-driven. Exactly. Have you seen that as oh, well? Oh, totally. It seems like people light up when they start working with a Power uh, BI dashboard because they see things they hadn't thought of before. That's and they so start true. talking about it, and it's it's extremely powerful in the workforce. That's so true. Well, and no code on that either. Exactly. I just connected that to SharePoint and just uh, four or five clicks. So the Power App maybe took me an hour and a half because I had several screens. This dashboard took all of 10 minutes. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Fast <laughs> solutions. Right? Yes. Part, part of Office 365's power is speeding time to value, yes. speeding time to true productivity. And yes. we see it in Microsoft Teams. We see it in these connection points and making sure people are having a better center of gravity for their collaboration experience. Yes. But it's things like this, these real world scenarios that really bring it to life for people. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Now, what if somebody wants to do what you've done or, or learn more? Do we have a community or some resources? for our viewers? Definitely. So uh, we have the Power Apps community, and you can get there just by doing powerapps.com. And so from your browser, just do powerapps.com, and it will bring up our community. Now, I am the community lead, so feel free to reach out to me as well. Excellent. And you'll see me all over the community as you begin to uh, browse it. But we have a learn section here where you can pick up documentation um, and even uh, guided learning, which is like what the solution I was showing you is we're adding more videos to the guided learning. So right now, you can pick a topic. You can learn how to create an app from SharePoint, like I did last night, and each section is outlined with very short three to five minute videos so that you can get started comfortably on your own time. And then if you have a question, you go to the community link and you click on the forum and you can post your questions. We have monitors 24 hours, seven days a week, monitoring this forum to answer your questions live online. That's excellent. That's excellent. I just love the fact that, you know, we're so dedicated now as a company to getting feedback and having these sorts of technical communities, but yes. that also just answer general user questions. Exactly. And, and, you know, for anybody out there who's wondering if we actually listen to that feedback or monitor those communities, yes. uh, we can tell you that, that we absolutely do. Yes. Um, we're very committed here to making the products better based on the things that you share yes. with us about your own usage. So yeah. we really appreciate that. And mm -hmm. Audrey, you know that I always appreciate you. Thank, thank you. For, thank this you. This is fun. Excellent. And uh, I really hope that we all continue to leverage the power tools that we have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me today. It's my pleasure. Well, that's another episode of Coffee in the Cloud. I'm really happy to have had this awesome guest. Check out in the comments below uh, for links to the resources that Audrey was referring to. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to ask your questions or reach either myself or Audrey out on Twitter. We're glad you're here. Um, please share this episode with your friends and come back from more.